Hello everyone, welcome back to Shimania. In my last video I showed you how to do water change with this water dispenser and I have lots of comments from you guys about this water dispenser and uh, everyone likes it and uh, today I'm gonna do some more tests and check how long the battery lasts and I'm also gonna show you a trick how to make this device work from USB plug because unfortunately this USB port here is only for recharging the battery and that pump it doesn't work from the wall plug and that's a little bit annoying because once the battery drain you cannot use it until you charge the battery so stay tuned I'm gonna show you how to do it okay let's do our first test and then just fully charge our water dispenser and I'm gonna check how long would the battery last and how many liters it can transfer in one charge I didn't put any flow restrictions so it's gonna be on full power let's try it the first bucket almost finished the pump still running and the volume of this bucket is 30 liters you can see it here so the pump managed to move 30 liters and the battery is still going which is good and uh, we don't have any resistance so the, this is a, a full pressure uh, probably if you do it in the tank it's too much for the shrimp so you're gonna re reduce the, the pressure maybe three times so let's say if it's 30 liters now, if you reduce the pressure three times, you move 10 liters. So then that should be enough for one little tank, like 10 gallon tanks. Okay, the first bucket done. Let's swap the bucket. I don't think it's enough for, for another bucket. Maybe half of this. Let's see what's happened. Almost empty in another bucket. So we've, we transfer about 50 liters of water with one charge and if you restrict the pressure because it's too much for water change normally it's not going to be a lot of water so it's going to be like 10, 15, maybe 20 liters maximum it's going to be enough for one or two tanks another downside of this pump is it doesn't work from the plug the USB cable is designed to, to charge the battery and uh, the pump will not work okay the battery is completely drained if I switch it on and switch it off just in, in a couple seconds so I'm gonna plug the USB cable here let me do it with one hand it's a bit tricky okay and we switch it on again and you can see it stop then it need to it start to recharging you see the slide so it start to recharging but once you once you switch it on it's only work for maybe 10-15 seconds and switching off so basically this cable is designed to to only charge your battery and you cannot use this pump until the battery charge at least like 10-15 percent so that's a big downside but let's open this pump and see if we can fix it it's very very simple to dismantle it you have two screws here so all we need to do is undo that two screws okay here you go so what we have here, we have a battery and we have a pump and we have a chip at the top. So now what I want to find out is the voltage of this battery because then I can simply connect my transformer uh, to that cable and I guess this battery might not be a 5 volt like USB cable and only charging from 5 volt but might be battery voltage is more than 5 volt we're gonna check it out now okay that's interesting the voltage of this battery is 4.14 volts so that means it is enough power if we just plug it from our USB cable so that's gonna be a simple mod we just all we need to do is just to cut this uh, two cables remove the battery I have three pumps like this so I don't need all of them to be rechargeable and that would be very nice to have one pump which is working from the socket and you don't need to recharge the battery and you can uh, change as much water as you want yeah so it's going to be unlimited life let's do it then okay what i have here is my usb pump which broke down and uh, i just uh, threw it away and i've got the the cable from that you can simply find this cable from any device uh, including the phone charger so all you need just to to strip that cables and you have a nice USB cable so what we need to do is to connect this cable here job done 
I'm gonna cut the cable here. We don't need the battery anymore on this pump. I have two more pumps with battery, so I convert one pump to the wall plug. We can use somewhere else. A nice battery, a rechargeable USB battery. Okay, we don't need it now. And and we're gonna strip the cables. Okay. Now we need to make a little hole here for the cable to come out. And it's very simple. Done. Okay. So now I poke the cable through that hole. Guys, I didn't plan anything. I just do on the go and record everything. I hope it's easy enough for you, but it's not complicated. So we strip these cables as well. If you don't have a cable stripper, you can use a knife. It's easy enough to strip the cables. This is quite small, tiny cables. Difficult to work with them. Okay. So the next one, I have a little connector. So I don't need to soldering them together. I'm going to use that little connector block. And don't forget to make a knot here. So the reason for that knot, if when you drag the cable and it's stopped, where the knot is and you will not uh, pull the cable off the connector okay that's how you connect the two cables together with this little block I'm sure you should be able to get this block in any electrical DIY shops so you can see this cable is very secure now if you pull it it's not gonna pull out from connector and now let's try it i hope it works okay i'm gonna plug it to my usb plug you ready for this let's try it no no it's not working okay guys i find the problem i just opened it again it's ne it's never happened from first time <laughs> i was very excited but it didn't happen i don't know for some reason you have to change the, the, the connection so the, the, the red cable goes to the white cable and the white cable goes to the red cable and then, then it's gonna work. Never work from first time. I don't understand why the connection should be changed so the plus and minus is, should be... Uh, maybe it's marked differently, maybe the, this is minus, this is plus here. You never know, maybe it made, it made in China, you know, so... <laughs> Nothing against China, just, just joking okay so this time we're gonna be more successful I believe in this here we go we is no battery inside it's only cable the battery been removed it's over there so let's plug it now to our USB socket and switch it on and I hope it's gonna work now oh yeah it's working now it's working guys I'm so happy about this oh my god so excited Okay, we connected it to USB. It's not rechargeable anymore. It's just USB pump. And I think I like it more. All you need to do is just to plug it with the, to the wall socket. And it's working forever. And if you want to use like a from battery, you can simply just plug it to your USB bank. And it's much better because it's gonna be more powerful and last longer from USB bank because this battery is very small very small battery nice i'm super happy about this okay guys we did it and uh, i couldn't believe we can make it to work from usb plug actually i was a bit disappointed to be honest when i found out that this uh, pump it doesn't work from usb plug and only can transfer like 10 liters of water that's mean you can only ch change like uh, water in one tank but if you have a lot of tanks it's a little bit problem so now we can uh, we can easily fix it so i hope you enjoy this tutorial nice little pump now is i have one usb pump and i also have uh, two rechargeable pumps so they've been very cheap only two bucks each so i bought three of them so i can play a little bit with them very good thing we're happy about that and thanks for watching i'll see you next time hey.